Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jamie Calloway here, and I am with two friends, and we are going to talk about Caval's release. You guys can introduce yourselves. What's up, everybody? It's the Razman Wrestling. Hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. All right, guys, so so Caval's release. Now, what kind of pisses me off about this is that then there's no point, there's no point to NXT Season 2, and I don't think NXT had a, had a point at all, because all of NXT Season 1 is all on Raw. And don't get me wrong, the Nexus storyline was awesome at the end of that Raw, when they came out and started attacking and... Um, having everything like destroyed and everything that was cool but what was the point of having a winner then and then and then for NXT season 2 y your winner has been released now I could understand if he wanted to be released but still it kind of pisses me off and then for NXT season 3 which was complete shit as well I don't think we've seen the winner to NXT season 3 so what was even the point of that do you anyone else want to say anything well, I would just echo what you're saying. The whole NXT thing has been completely pointless, except for Nexus and Mike Barrett. I mean, we've seen Caitlyn maybe twice. Caval got released. I mean, and it was such a big deal for Caval to win that over Alex Riley and Michael McGillicuddy, who everybody thought WWE would pick. WWE actually listened to the fans and let Caval win that competition, and now it's for nothing. It's for absolutely nothing. You know, for me, it's just like, I don't, I don't know if it'll make sense to people, me saying it like this, but the company's called World Wrestling Entertainment. For me, it's just WE. The wrestling part of World Wrestling Entertainment is gone. Because WWE, with the exception of Daniel Bryan, doesn't seem to know what to do with the pure wrestlers anymore. They're all about entertainers and the guys that can cut promos and stuff like that. And I just don't get excited about it anymore. I watch wrestling because it's in my blood, and it's what I want to do, but I don't get excited about it anymore. Yeah, Brennan? I was very, I was very happy for one, and now it's just like I'm very disheartened that uh, Wall is released, because, well, from the way I'm hearing it, he asked for his release, but who can, but who can blame him? Uh, he wasn't being used properly, except, except for in the Dolph Ziggler story, right? Which he didn't want him. And maybe he didn't want him. Brennan, you're getting cut off. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Alright, go ahead, continue. Uh, okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, but, uh, uh, to, if anybody missed my point, uh, if I was cut off, I said, Caval, uh, it really disheartens me to hear that Caval uh, was released because uh, WWE didn't really use him properly except for in the Dolph Ziggler storyline, and was he still off. And uh, WWE just don't know how to book good wrestlers anymore. I mean, they used to, but they've seriously fallen. Mm -hmm. it just, it's like whatever we're fed. Sorry. Jamie, were you wanting to go? Sorry. No, no, I was just agreeing with Brennan. Okay. Um, but, you know, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago in a video that we did on Road to Street, Jamie, Jamie, and about the Cena storyline recently with Nexus. It's like, whatever we're fed, it's like what we're supposed to take, and nothing makes sense anymore. It's like, WWE just expects us to turn off our brain and just be brain dead when we watch the product and it's just so frustrating yeah and like I like before we knew why he was released people were saying that WWE released him because they had no idea what to do with him but you have people like Chris Masters who are sitting on their asses backstage and doing nothing but you release Caval and then you have people like Hornswoggle Hornswoggle has a job oh, wait, wait but like Hornswoggle has a job and Caval doesn't how does that make sense and WWE's logic with things is just so stupid. Like, what goes through their minds with their logic? Like, Hornswoggle's okay, but Caval's not? You could have had some great fuse with Caval, but no. You like to release a good amount of your talent, and you keep stupid talent 
like a bunch of jobbers that we don't need anymore and then and then hornswoggle and crap no get get some other talent and actually use your talent sure Caval didn't have to go after the world heavyweight title but he could have gone after little titles and worked his way up and yeah, you know but, other things like that yeah sorry I didn't mean to cut you off Jamie my Skype audio went crazy That's okay. um the uh I was just agreeing with you because people were like why is he going after the Intercontinental title and the world title? The Intercontinental title makes sense because the mid-card scene is where the real wrestling is, Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler. So that's the title right now that it would make sense for Caval to go after. So. And, and, the, and the thing is, like, he could have feuded with a good amount of mid-carders, and they, I wish they would really bring back the cruiserweight title because they could do a lot of good matches with that. Because some of these wrestlers can't go after the world heavyweight title, or they don't get a chance to go after any titles because people are hogging the spotlight. And like he could have did great feuds with Dolph Ziggler or other mid carders, but no, WWE has to go and fuck things up. Yeah, we talked about that actually in a no turning back episode, I think once, where we talked, where you asked the question like, what would you do if you were Raji in for a day? And I talked about bringing back the cruiserweight title because I completely agree. With yeah, Brennan, do you want to say something? Yeah, speaking of Cruiserweight, that reminds me of Evan Bourne. Uh, I'm really looking forward to when Evan Bourne comes back, if he does. The Evan Bourne versus CM Punk feud that they're eventually going to do. That'd be epic. They both, they both can wrestle, and it'll make for an amazing match. Yeah, and Evan Bourne would finally be getting, you know, a chance to do something instead of jobbing because he actually has good talent. And... Many people don't say that a lot of these wrestlers don't have good talent, but that's because they don't get a chance to show their talent, and the fact that their moves are so limited, they can't show off any of their talent, and they should be able to do that. Like, they have great matches in, like, maybe indie promotions or TNA or other things, but then when they come here, they can't show any of that. Exactly. When you make WWE, you're told to hold yourself back, and your wrestling and your talent is completely watered down and that's crap because when you're in the business that's where you're told that you need to be that's where everybody wants to be everybody wants to headline Wrestlemania but now it's like why even inspire to be in a WWE if you're an actual wrestler if you're an entertainer more than a wrestler fine go to WWE but if you're a true entering technician why would you ever want to be in WWE no because they just use it use you for pure entertainment and you'd probably sink in WWE if you weren't all about entertainment because WWE isn't about wrestling anymore. It's all about entertainment. And the fact that it was PG back then, PG doesn't mean it sucks because it used to be PG, but that used to be all wrestling. Unlike now when you have midgets running around and cows running around and people in eagle costumes running around, it was nothing <laughs> like that back then. It was actual wrestling. And they did put, push PG to the limit, though. Anything yeah, they, they, they really did. I mean, I, I guess the bottom line here is that, you know, if you want to watch real wrestlers and true performers, don't watch WWE because it's sad, but it's true because WWE is pretty much telling us that they have Daniel Bryan and that's it. Yeah, but the it's thing is, but the thing is, if it weren't for wrestling, none of us would be here talking to each other. And I wouldn't, none of us would be here talking about this right now. So... Well, that's true. It's not wrestling as a whole that sucks. It's just a WWE end of wrestling. Yeah. Brennan, do you want to say anything before? No, no, no I'm good. All right. Good. So any anything else before I end the video, guys? Just thanks for letting us be here, Jamie. All right. I want to say, I want to say I love y'all. I love my people. And I'll see you. Merry Christmas, you. all. Happy holidays. I'll see you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely.